Okay. All right. Today, we, uh, we're at Western Iowa Tech in our motorcycle power sports technology lab. And what we're going to do is we're testing a three-phase permanent magnet charging system. And we're going to do just some basically some static tests or some bench tests. We don't have to take it out of the bike. The rotor and alternator are underneath the primary here. Uh, at the regulator rectifier, we're going to disconnect this connector. And we're going to test to see if we have continuity or a complete path be three, between these three wires. Sometimes they're yellow, sometimes they're white, and today on two motorcycles we discovered that they're black. But we desire or want continuity between these three, but we don't want continuity ground. So without being able to take this apart, this is the way we can do it. We're going to simply go across. First off, we're going to set our meter to ohms. We will test the meter. Can you see the result there? Okay. And now I'm going to go across the leads here. You can see I'm installing them here. This is a real simple test. And you can see that I have continuity. Once again, I'm going to take it out. There's no continuity or an open. A lot of multimeters will say OL. So I'm going to go across two of them. I'm going to switch to one of the other wires. Okay, so we call this Y1, Y2, Y3. You guys have seen this from class. And now I'm going to switch back to the other one. Now all three of these have good continuity. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one of my leads and I'm going to go to a ground and I should see no continuity or I should see the open. The problem is I don't know if this is a good ground. Okay, so to verify that this is a good ground, I've actually got to take and test up at the cable here, the ground cable, and see if I get continuity. Can, can the camera catch that? I know now that this bolt has a good ground. Now to prove a point here, I'm going to show you this, uh, this chrome covered head bolt. Normally these bolts are good grounds, so they're threaded into the motor, but I want you to notice what happens. Do you have, see how I'm getting that high resistance and it's bouncing all over the place? Because this, this fastener is chrome plated, I don't get a good ground. It's not a very good one to check. But anywhere on the motorcycle, I can verify if I have a good ground. A test light works great for this. But if I go to the spark plug itself, we want a good ground at the spark plug. Dang right I do. Now look at my meter. It jumps right down there. Good kind of What about the fins of the motor? I have a good ground, and I'm going to go back to th that bolt that I chose to use to verify that my stator is good. I have continuity. Now all of these places will go back. We'll grab the one coil from the stator, and I go to the, the primary here. No continuity. Obviously here, I can go to a spark plug. If you don't verify that you actually know you're testing from a good ground, you're falsifying your test here, and it's not going to do you any good. Because watch this. If I go from the stator, okay, and look at my reading. Now, I'm going to go to where there's the, we know it's a good ground. Okay, my meter has just the one, or yours would say OL. Now, watch this. If I go this rubber pad, what's the meter say? So it, it's, it's making it look like it's good. You have to know you're testing from a good source. Does that make sense? And here's the great news about this. Today we did this test on this Harley. Now you get it, this, more, this is a newer Harley or an 06 where it has a three-phase charging system. But uh, if we have a Harley that just has the two wires, we do the exact same test just going across just the two wires. But this works for snowmobiles, watercraft, ATVs. I mean, anything out there that has a, a three-phase charging system on, this test works exactly the same. I mean, today we did a DRZ, a Z1000, a 1400 Intruder, an R1. Um, quite a few bikes and all tested the same, right guys? Okay, alright, that's it for today.